Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I want to thank you so much for hitting that play button today. If you happen to be stopping in for the very first time, my name is Chuck. I am a uh, LTL line haul driver for a company called Estes Express. We've got a couple of our compadres parked next to me. We've got one here. we got one up front. we got like six trucks in here. Um, but I'm getting started on my day. Today is... Uh, Today's Wednesday going into Thursday, but actually my Tuesday. Hope that, <laughs> hope that helps you. Uh, I came off my break about two hours ago, and I called Central, and they said, man, we you know, we got a lot of drivers that are here. You're about number eight on the list. Uh, check back in a couple hours. Uh, so I did. Uh, ran over, grabbed me something to eat, came back. Uh, caught another hour's worth of sleep. That's always a good thing. And uh, checked my... Uh, check my dashboard and it looks like I've got a van that's going to uh, I'm taking a trailer down to uh, the Dallas terminal so I'm here in Memphis and so we're gonna be headed down to Dallas it's a 22,000 pound trailer so that's always nice when you can take a van what what typically I do when we go from the hotel back to the terminal or we go from the terminal back to our going to the hotel uh, when our day is done or when we're getting started we log in to our people net system here and uh, we go into off-duty PC and so we'll go, I'll go to the yard uh, I'll get there and then I'll go on uh, yard move which will start my clock for the day my 14 hour clock will start uh, my 11 hour doesn't get started until I actually drive off the yard we have what's called a geo fencing system around all of our terminals and so when we leave it, if we don't dispatch it, it will automatically dispatch it, and it starts our drive clock. So that 11-hour uh, clock starts ticking down as we're driving. Uh, so that's kind of how that works. It's really, really simple. Uh, we don't really have to worry about our logs a whole lot, I mean, as far as time, uh, because as we go from terminal to terminal, we're calling in and letting them know how many hours we have left their computer system or whatever they're looking at knows that we can get to this terminal in this amount of time. Uh, sometimes you may have three hours left and they shut you down. Uh, other times, like this morning, um, I actually left Tulsa last night, got to Memphis and they sent me to Jackson, Tennessee, and then I came from, I went from Jackson, Tennessee back to Memphis. Um, so when I got back here I had like an hour and a half left on my clock, almost two hours. So that's kind of uh, how all that works, uh, but we're going to bring you along. We're going to see what today holds. All we do know at this point is that we are going to uh, we are going to Dallas. So I'll see you guys here momentarily. All right, we're looking for trailer five twenty two one sixty two. Maybe maybe over there. Yep, right there she is. So what I'm going to do is I've got to go get the paperwork. So I'm going to go get the paperwork and I'll come back and hook to this. And then uh, we'll be ready to rock. Make sure everything's kosher on it. Put my gloves on. <laughs> People get on to me all the time. Chuck, you need to wear your gloves. You need to wear your gloves. I know it. I know it. People have asked me, what's this for? It's just a zip tie on the end. Sometimes these right here get loose. You can take this, put it inside of here and it keeps that from leaning down uh, keep your all your marker lights and all that stuff lit up that falls down a little bit sometimes it can 
make it to where not everything is on. All right, lock down there. People say, Chuck, how often do you pull a van? Well, if you've been watching the last couple of weeks, I'm I'm enjoying it. I think this is like the fourth one I've pulled. It's been 50-50, it seems like. Now, would I rather pull a van or pull a set of pups? I'd rather pull pups. They just maneuver a whole lot easier. The only thing about pups, though, is you, or the only thing about good thing about a van is that you can back it up if you get in a if you get in a jam. All good there. Marker lights, everything going good. We don't have any hazmat. So that's nice. So let's, uh, where to? I've got pretty much every terminal that I could possibly go to within like a 12 state radius. <laughs> see all these numbers these are all terminals we're going to uh, 89 Dallas should be going straight up 30 now, I knew, do know there's a detour up there and I'm going to show you on this how you can uh, hopefully you'll be able to see this but go through its calculations for you guys who want to know this is a Garmin OTR 1000 they make the 700 to 800 and then it's just basically how many inches it is. So yeah, this is going to take me from... So we're looking at 472 miles. That's a good run. So it also gives you this right here if you need to go that route. We don't have any hazmat, so we can go on 30, Interstate 30 as we get down there. Uh, but yeah, 7 hours and 26 minutes. 472 miles. Heck, add another 200 to that. Maybe when I get to Dallas, it'll send me up to Oak City. Turn right. Then turn and then right. I'm going to go up here to edit route. Shape route. And I know right down in here this Highway 30. Uh, let's see. Right here. This right here is all under construction. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, 635. See if when I touch that it should drop me down around it. Let's see what it does. Yep, see how I did that? It automatically took me from right here 30. I know this right here is all under construction. This detour will take me down to 80 and put me back on 30. So that's really nice. Tells you down here how many minutes it added. It added 2.2 miles, 3 minutes. And then just hit go. And we're ready to go. Show them we got a way station in, uh, whoops, way station in 17 miles. Uh, if I click turns up ahead, I have, uh, which we're going to have to stop at the Loves and get fuel. 19 miles because I'm down to a quarter of a tank and their fuel system is, is down here. So I'll be stopping there getting fuel and def and then we'll continue our way. So right now I'm projected to get there at 6 a.m. Um, so yeah, we'll get there yeah, but we'll get there before the traffic really starts hitting too bad. Well, we've made it into Dallas. If you can't tell. Got the skyline off in the distance and the red brake lights everywhere. Uh, six a.m. So we're hitting that the good old morning traffic here. I'm about seven miles from my exit. Probably take me an hour to get there. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna have about. Uh, Almost, almost four hours left on our uh, drive clock. So I'm hoping to get maybe down to uh, Temple, Texas or 
you know, somewhere where I can get, you know, maybe another 100 miles out of, out of Dallas. But we shall see. I'll take you guys in here to the terminal. Some of you have never been there before. Let you see. Dallas has gotten a whole lot better from what I was told by another driver that was there yesterday. Um, for some of you guys who watch the channel, or if you haven't seen it, I've got some past videos where it was quite the challenge maneuvering in that yard. But So hopefully uh, coming in at 6 in the morning, it's not going to be too bad. Now I've got a van, so I'm just going to be basically dropping it on the pad anyway. Or if I happen to see a, an open spot there where the trailers are, then I'll just back it in there. That way the yard jockey doesn't have to mess with it. So we'll see you guys as soon as we get over here to the terminal. All right, we're, we're half a mile from the terminal up here on the right. It's one half mile, turn right. Yes, ma'am. Well, we actually got through that traffic pretty easily because everybody started getting off to go the 35 split. So <laughs> that, that helped a lot. I was like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't have to go that way. Arriving at Dallas DLT 89 on the right. Well, he stopped right there, and that's where the vans go. Let's see if they got some other. Spots further down here. Yeah, there's one right there. See, typically, if this was all full, we go down there, and then there's a trot pad on the other side. But if I can save the yard jockey some time and not cloud up everything over there. Make sure we go on yard move here. There we go. We are available send that in so by me doing that that lets this terminal know that this freight is out here it also lets uh, central know that uh, I'm available for dispatch even though I'm gonna call them here in a minute and uh, see where they can get me with uh, let's go back here three hours and 50 minutes so I could literally get to uh, I could get up get to Oklahoma City let's see where to? That's there, 190, 192. Just for, that's 187 miles. Calculating route, 187 miles. Yeah, three hours and 13 minutes. It's two, 202 miles, 300 and three hours and 13 minutes. I'd still have 38 minutes to spare so we'll see if they'll uh, let me do that or if they want to send me somewhere else but I'll be back with you guys in a moment well I called Central I had three and a half hours and uh, this best well go ahead and head to the hotel 
So sometimes that happens. Sometimes you, especially on a long run like that where you do 480, sometimes it can get you. If you do like, like if my first run would have been like 300 miles and then would have got another one for maybe 250 or 300 miles, you can get that, you know, well over 500, close to 600 miles. But sometimes when you do these really long ones and it's going to take, you know, seven plus hours to do one leg of it, a lot of times when you get there, being this late in the morning all the freight's kind of already been pushed out overnight so a lot of bid guys have already come through here extra board drivers have come through here and so most of the freight in the trailers that you see in here right now are freight um, maybe not any pass through going to a terminal that I could possibly get to within the amount of time that I have so uh, that's just uh, you, you, you just take it like that and make it an early day it's kind of like getting off of work early but uh, guys I think that's going to do it for this vlog and uh, we are going to uh, head to the hotel and get up and uh, go at it again tomorrow. But guys, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember this, life is truly short. Definitely make sure you make it sweet. We'll see you guys in the next one.